thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're back in the forest. This is 0.54 version, and yes, we are doing pretty darn well. I've not seen any camels at night to end up sleeping at night to get back our our trees that we needed. And of course, these trees are mistaken. You know what? I thought they're the larger ones here are actually full logs. So yeah, small ones like this were the ones that are actually stick trees. I don't know why I, they look the same, but yeah, it's a mistake. It's all good. All right, let's get going. Let's get building. And let's see what we can get done here. I do need to put this up because I had to build ourselves over here. Uh, we're going to have to put on our second floor a rate as fast as possible. Because now the cold is starting to bother us, as you can see on the right hand side here. This and all over the screen. Uh, that's going to start bothering us quite a bit. Uh, right now our athleticism is there. We dropped to 18 strength. I don't know why. I've been eating and taking care of myself. And I'm getting really... This mechanic is just... It's got to it's be a little easier, a little better than that. Especially if you're taking care of yourselves. It doesn't make any sense at all. Um, all right. Let's get ourselves some flooring. Why do we have such a hard time with this damn book? So many damn videos and I still have the problem here. Custom flooring, thank you very much. We'll put you over here, we'll press. See? See? Why is this a uh, Going up. Did they break? No, they didn't break it. Just have to find the right place. All right, let's press E. Now it should sporadically give us the entire area here full of logs. Yes, that's perfect. Actually, I'm thinking this is way too close. I don't like the height. They should, gotta add one more log. Devs, see? You gotta add one more log. You took off a log or something. There's one on the bottom here. There should be one more on top. This would give a better ceiling. So developers, please. Please, for God's sakes. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's too low. It's too low. Um, I have to build a second floor. I don't like the way that looks. All right, let's see if we can actually just do that instead. Walls, custom walls. Bring them on top. At least it's a little higher, and then it won't look so bad because damn, it looks bad, or else. I can actually put some up here if we want to. Now we're not putting any windows up. Those ones, we're just gonna put these up as fast as we possibly can. And get going. Again, the game is what it is. It's, uh, it's, it definitely has a lot, a little bit of work to be done. I'm not sure if they play it and he realized the height differential or it's just me that has an issue with it being so low. I feel it's very claustrophobic when you're actually in there. And it feels like the height is just incorrect by one log, like I said. So that's it. We'll leave it alone. We'll digress a little bit. All right, we'll bring the other log sled over here. I cut down a couple of trees that you can see beforehand just to get ourselves going. Get yourself in here. Hopefully, some cannibal friends will join us this evening. Um, I'm not sure what they did to change the mechanic on that again. They keep on tinkering with it, and they need to stop. It was working pretty good. It started getting a lot of attacks. Uh, we saw at the end of the game, most likely at night, I think they maybe they put them more at night towards uh, attacks, but still. I would like to see a couple more flying through here. It does give us a chance to build. I shouldn't really complain because we're also going to be complaining about not being able to build. Okay, maybe we know what we're going to do. We're going to build some stairs here. Just jump at the wall. Going back and forth. Let's open this up. And let's get some stairs. We do custom stairs here. We can get the regular stairs. Where are they? Should be enough to fit there. Do they have regular stairs in this? Or am I now... Oh, there they are. I haven't built regular stairs in ages. Let's see if they actually fit. That's too high. Okay, we'll have to do custom. That is going to be a problem. All right. That's why I don't build those things. Custom stairs, and we'll just bring it from here. Rotate it till we get to a place we can actually f see properly. Right about there. Oh, there's gonna be a little ledge. Damn it! Um, I gotta make sure it doesn't attach to the door improperly. Actually, we could do like this, and then bring up from the other sides if we want to. I don't know if we should do a platform and bring it up from the other sides. Yeah, it looked a lot nicer, actually. Am I limited of how high, how low this thing can go now? Uh, really? Your custom foundation, and that's all. Uh, 
right about here then. You see the wood there? You can actually see where it's going to be, a little lower. You can see near the door. I'm going to use the door as the... That looks a little too high. A little lower here. That looks like it's plumb right in. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm going to go from this one to this one here. And then bring her out to about here. A small little platform, nothing too big. Just for us to come out on a little deckish, and then we'll go down with the stairs. Right there, and then bring it back to that one. Should click in. Yeah, I know you're cool, brother. But you're building. Part of life. Uh, right here. I wonder if the cold is affecting us. Let's bring this back. Let's go chop down a couple more trees and get at least that front porch done. We're going to get some heat so we can get ourselves going. Man, there's a lot to do here. Oops, there's a piece of bone here. We actually should make ourselves some bone armor. Just to make sure we don't get ourselves in trouble. Keep ourselves near the fire and we'll get some bone armor. Come on. There we go. We'll put that on. Beautiful. We got some bone armor. We're going to have to get some deer also. We're going to have to get some... Uh, Something to insulate ourselves with the deer pelts. They're actually going to help us uh, help us survive a bit longer and give us some warmth. It's becoming imperative now, especially in this cold biome. Okay, selecting the axe is not always working. There we go. Again, I think this update had a little bit of things that might have broken it. Uh, some of the actual uh, process of this game. It's okay. It's not a big deal. No! Until it takes out your building. Damn, man. We're going to have to be very careful. I'm going to have to chop at the opposite side from now on. Just because it came way too close and damaging our buildings. Okay, now we're tired. Let's bring back our energy with some blueberries. And, of course, we have no visitors. It's so weird. I swear to God, there's cannibals in this game. This isn't a very high tree, so it's okay. It won't damage anything. It's not a tall tree at all. Beautiful. I will be doing a lot of logging off camera. Usually the first couple of videos, you'll see me doing some logging on camera. But most of it I'll do off camera once we start getting ourselves built a little more. Uh, it's just because I... I'd like to do a little bit with you guys initially to start getting to show you guys all the work that we have to be put into this game. Uh, this is actually normal mode. There's no creative. I do not do any AI cheats or anything. All my builds are made to order. In other words, no cheating, no nothing. So we're going to be building as big as we want. But again, this is actually not our main base. We're doing a village here. We're doing a big village. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I think this time we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Last one was Mammoth. God, that castle. It's insane. Bring back some logs over here. Beautiful. Wall done. Another one there. Another one there. Just hop up. Boom. Do I need to hop? I don't think we need to hop. All right. Awesome. We are getting stuff done. We're going to deforest this area. There won't be any trees left. And then hopefully they'll regrow as we go through it. As long as we don't take away the stumps, we should be fine. Oh, damn, they relaunched the cage, but I'm not catching anything. I'm missing a stick. Hmm. Oh, that's convenient. Perfect. No rabbits inside. You, get in the freaking cage. I want to breed you guys. I wonder if they play with this game at all. <laughs> they, they must play, test this out, because, I mean, it makes no sense to me. Uh, I was bringing it off the tree over here, but I'll just take down these trees here. 
Alright, so then we'll get some sticks. Now you won't get any any sap by doing this. But it sure is fun. Oh, I was too far away from the other tree. I thought I'd knock down the other tree too. Oh well. They're not exactly close to each other. When you get the little clusters of them, that's a blast. Just take it, bam, all of them go down at once. It is a beautiful thing. Get some more sticks too. We're exhausted. All right, exhaustion. All right, we'll just let ourself rest for a few seconds and get yourself going. So yeah, lots to do in this game. If you'd ever say you should go back and see it, this is our 18th season. It's a lot of videos, almost 500. Total, I think, well, over 500, but solo, I think, 400 and something, and uh, 500 with 500 with the actual uh, multiplayer, too. So a lot was done. A lot of things we've created. We've done some hell of builds. This one's going to be a village, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to enjoy using the, the actual little lake here, or pond, as a beautiful backdrop to a nice village. Only thing that sucks is that we're getting cold all the time, so we have to make sure we constantly move on the screen. That is definitely a new thing that's just going to be a little harder than usual to build here, but it's okay. I love how there's sticks on the ground right here, and we can't pick those up. Makes no sense. All right. If you do this game, you should go and check out the other seasons too. Check it out what we're doing if you really enjoy it. Like I said, there's a playlist down there. You can see everything from the progression when I first started to uh, season 15 on where the massive builds occurred. You also see Fortega and stuff. It's really amazing. The amount of stuff you can build in this game. Drag you over here. And we're going to bring you over here. Beautiful. Now you need sap. If you're wondering what it is, you need to sap to repair things and some crafting. So that is definitely a reason why you need the hammer too now, which we built. Show last game right here. So we just get the hammer and you start repairing a of your foundation. Before you just walked up to repaired it, now you need the hammer. Here we go. Go straight. There we go. Yeah, tree followed a little bit there. Those are going to roll down the hill. Push. Yeah, I don't know if that even helped. It looks like it's going to the same exact area. Let's drop these babies in here. Lots of logging, lots to do. Yeah, this game has really always been one of my favorites. Uh, the fear, the horror that comes into this game at night uh, versus also the daylight. It's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. Really, I mean, honestly, the amount of builds. And I'm always hoping they're going to add more crafting to this game, more stuff we can do. We... Uh, they definitely are doing it, but they're not doing it as much as I expected them to do right now at this point. I thought they'd have a little more stuff, but again, I guess maybe some greed too. Now, these developers are pretty damn awesome. Uh, what they do is uh, they actually give out like updates, but every like now it's up to 13 days from this last update. They actually give you a timer of when they do it. So usually they're off by one day max. I think they've seen only once, twice. Uh, once, sorry, that they've done it for two days. So... Really good developers. They do stand behind the game. They do work really hard for it. So no problems with them at all. They've done their job. We'll chop down whatever we can here. These will grow hopefully at night. We are going to try and stay awake a little bit longer tonight and see if we can catch some enemies passing by here. This used to be the worst hotbed you've ever been in around this lake. And all of a sudden it's blank. This is why I built here too because it was a hotbed. I quite enjoyed it. Plus, of course, the scenery is absolutely stunning. Man, thank God the trees regrow now. There used to be a point where the developers, every time they did an update, all the trees came back. And that was a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed that. Yeah, I forgot what I was doing this. What the hell is on this? It's a freaking rock. Keeps on trying to pick up the rock instead. Cool, we got this done. That's nice. Shit or fire. Good thing we picked up some sticks. Now, you can light this twice when it goes out, and the second time itself, you have to actually uh, rebuild it. So you just press C to stoke it up, which gives you leaves or money if you have it on you. 
I'll have to knock you down too. Some of these trees, uh, I will actually remove the stumps after a while once we start getting built because I don't want them around our tree, around our base. Right now our skin is kind of blue. That's not good. I hope that's a mud. Blue is not good. Well, then you know what, devs? You need to give us the ability to craft clothing. If you're going to put in some kind of shivering stuff and we have animals and that, and we can craft other parts, you should be able to let us craft up clothing. I'm going to ask for that now. We're going to need to let us build clothes. We already have boots here, which you should have on. We'll make sure it's equipped. Should have helped us, but we're definitely going to have to wrap ourselves with some deer now. I'm going to face the other direction because I don't want this to drop anywhere near our base. There we go. These walls are massive. I might grind a little bit off camera. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to try and get as much as possible. But if I start seeing those red guys with the new Red Cross and new cannibals come in, if I ever see them. Is that snow? Oh, I got. I didn't realize it snowed here. It's always rain. <laughs> I guess I haven't been here that long. I think I remember them adding something like that. All right, we'll pick up the sticks we find on the ground here before we knock down the trees because some do disappear. And it's going to start getting dark. So we're going to do the one-handed with the uh, lighter out. So it's going to make it a lot easier for you guys to see too. Timber! Catching that one in the air. Superstar. Did the cage go? Oh yeah, the trap went off again. But no rabbit. Hmm. Very strange. Maybe it's a bad location for it. It's just... I don't know. It's very strange. Knock this baby, come on. And then we should be able to finish up at least that side of the base. Hopefully we'll also get some company. Maybe we'll build ourselves a bonfire actually now. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Maybe we'll build ourselves a bonfire here. Track some attention. Now, bonfires do work. And supposedly the effigies do work now. I mean, I know I had issues. I mean, at one point, it did kind of work. They kind of scared off. If you want to build the effigies themselves, you can scare off the actual cannibals. You do need cannibals parts for that, so it's not going to help without it. What the hell? Let's see if we can build ourselves a bonfire right here, keeping ourselves warm. Uh, right here, open up this. Fire. Bonfire right here that's a lot of stuff that's a raccoon beautiful now these two will break by themselves after a while so you should be able to warm yourself up with this you can stoke it up by pressing C also no that attracts some attention are you red crossed no you're not how about burning yourself in a fire for me? Huh? How about that? There we go. Thank you very much. Just make my job a lot easier. Oh, I'm on fire too now. My shit is on fire! Man, this guy's powerful. Oh, he walks into it again. Second time on fire. Your buddy's not too bright. Is that your leader? Oh, that's why I'm on fire. You were the, uh... This is a cannibal that shoots out... That actually shoots out the uh, fire stuff. Uh, he, he launches it out. Oops. He'll throw, like, little tennis balls of fire. Molotov boy. Is he burning? I think he is. This will give us bones, which we need to craft ourselves some armor anyway, so. Let's drop off where we can. Oh, that raccoon's on fire! Oh, poor raccoon. I'm not sure if I'd eat raccoon meat, even if uh, someone said so. Okay, drop that. That's gross. Grab a stick. Ooh, 
Where are the bones? I want you to snap in pieces, please, sir. Thank you. I do need to build a catapult so I can get some more of these skulls. That's actually something we have to do. I should do that, actually. Because I can keep those damn skulls. It's trying to irritate me with losing them. We need them for the builds for lamps and stuff, so... We're full of blood. That's... That's not good. You're gonna get sick off that. We're gonna get ourselves into the water. Which is not a great idea in the cold, of course. But we do need to wash ourselves off, so we're just gonna make sure we stoke up the fires and keep ourselves healthy. And there we go, we'll dry ourselves off. Um, yeah, let's do the catapult. We'll put it next to a tree for now, temporarily. In other words, it's going to be a storage area. Catapult should be here. Did I miss it? We're going to be crafting all this stuff, though, guys. Don't worry. Don't you worry. That will be a thing. Um, could put it here as a defensive for temporarily, but I'm not going to use it as a defense. This is mostly a storage unit. Now, you could use a catapult to throw it on them. I never found it very useful. Just take one rope and a whole bunch of logs and stuff, but hey. We drop the bones I have on me. Make sure we can pick up all the other ones. Oh, I think I got them all. Alright, well, despawned also the skulls as usual. Which is irritating, but it's okay. I need 15 sticks. Alright. Any more sticks here? Just need three more logs. We can get that done easily with this tree here. Which I don't like them close to our other trees because they can hop from one to another. But this is actually pretty far away, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully that doesn't destroy anything. Clean the fire. Perfect. Two. Yeah, we should be okay. Beautiful catapult it is. We caught a rabbit! Yay! We caught him! Oh, I'm fucking happy now. Now, you don't have to feed him, but once I get another one in here... There we go. We need a stick to open that up. Uh, once we get another one in there, he'll start breeding. So, hopefully we'll get another one. Oh! We're just like that. Now they're going in. Gotcha. And we're going to drop you in here. All right, guys, fornicate. We're only going to leave two in there, so we really don't need this, but... That's pretty cool. That's good. We finally caught them. We were, I was starting to think that, that it didn't exist anymore. <laughs> they weren't able to do that, but I guess just patience. And sometimes the squirrels get in there. That's pretty good. Man, a big bonfire, snow coming down. Hellish. And no cannibals. I'm getting irritated now. Keep your fires going. Everybody's going to stop and take a break. Woo! All right, not bad. Not bad at all. We've done pretty well. Again, trees are starting to become a thing of the past, as you can see behind us. So thankfully, we'll have that less of a problem. If we can actually uh, get the regrow mode working properly, <laughs> hopefully with 10% we'll come back. All right, we'll get some food. We're hungry. And we're going to put up the meat here. No, I don't want that. Rotate R. R. Meat. You only get two pieces of meat for the raccoon? Wow, that's pretty shitty. There we go. Oh, did we get another rabbit? No, we didn't. All right, we'll leave the trap closed because we don't need any more. Now we want to see if they will produce new ones like they used to. I wonder if it takes a sleep time. I thought I heard a cannibal there for a second. I was like, are they actually coming by to visit us? There we go. 
I am doing that jumping into a log because they seem to be falling wherever the hell they want to, so. Perfect. Looking good. Alright, we got quite a bit done here. I think we're going to leave the episode here, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to try and do a little bit of logging on the side. Hopefully we'll get some sleep. Doesn't look like the candles are coming at nighttime. We got fires going everywhere. This should be. I should be able to see even arms or something. Thought I heard something. I was hoping to see Armsy, Virginia, the mutants walking around here. This is actually one of the main stays of where they actually walked at one point. I don't know where the hell they are. Just can't believe there's nothing. Devs, man, you gotta find this working, man. This gotta be working. You gotta be able to create that entity of fear like you used to in the first time I played this game. All of a sudden, the last few uh, updates have been like, they disappeared. Just not as much as usual. It's like they have fear or something. Oh, well. We'll have to deal with it. All right, so I'm going to get some logging done and all that. If I do see Virginia or anything, I'll definitely record it. Thank you so much for being here again, guys. If you guys like this and want to see the series, you got to make sure you support it by hitting that like button. And again, getting yourself involved with it and watching the videos. So get yourself involved and hit the like button. Hit the comment fields. It's always appreciated. This is the answer, Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.